So I'm in my driveway and I am about to go up to the hospital to do some more routine blood work that just kind of monitors and keeps track of the lupus activity or non-activity hopefully in my body and I just had to take a moment and just just think about how thankful I am that I have a disease that can be managed, that is being managed, but also just to acknowledge that sometimes it still feels really overwhelming. And I don't know why I have lupus. I don't know that anybody does or that there is even really a reason. But sometimes, some days, it's still the reality of the disease and... Um, the enormity of it being a lifelong disease can still feel overwhelming some days. Okay, so now I'm at the hospital and I'm about to go in to do my blood work. And I was just thinking, so I wanted to follow up to what I said a minute ago. I was thinking that um, without lupus though, in my life, I probably wouldn't even be making these videos. Like without lupus pushing me more to savor life, to enjoy it, to to um, I don't know, share what God's doing in my heart and in my life. Uh, I mean, I, pro I might not be doing it. I might still just be sitting, keeping my thoughts and talents and abilities to myself and not even here talking to you so in that sense I am very aware and grateful that God has opened my eyes to many things that I was not seeing prior to um, my lupus diagnosis so anyway here we go time to do blood work just like that done so I will go back at the end of this week and hear what the results are and hopefully I hear a good report. Um, I do always, it's weird to say I enjoy going to the rheumatologist, but I do because even while I might feel overwhelmed with something, my doctor is an amazing and she is a huge source of encouragement to me and so I always kind of even while there's a nervous anticipation of my appointments and checkups, I do um, look forward to them just because I like to know. I like to know what's going on with my body and I like to know um, the parts of my health that I'm in control of and I like to try to focus on those. I don't know if I like to try to focus on them, but I want to try to focus on those so that I don't feel so overwhelmed all the time or anxious with um, health. So, that's where I am. I'm headed back home now. So, I am just now leaving my rheumatology appointment and I am feeling all right, but she wants me to see a neurologist about my recurring migraines and so I was kind of like, okay but then I thought well they're probably just gonna want to give me more medicine and I already take so much medicine every single day I am like a 90 year old lady with my pill boxes and just the thought of taking more I don't know I don't want to but I also don't want to have migraines we talked a little bit about um, she just emphasized to me again, self-care. Things that I need to do every single day to take care of myself and things that I need to schedule like monthly, weekly, monthly, things like that to just place importance on my complete health, not just my physical symptoms. Um, but my lupus markers were good anemia improving and she checked all of my like pressure points um, in relation to fibromyalgia and she said and I agreed doing better 
So that's really good. But, um, just not totally thrilled about a neurologist. I've never been to one, so I'm, I guess the unknown is a little bit unnerving to me. And that's really it. So I'm going to drive home and try to explain this update to my kids. And well, it was a good appointment, a good checkup.